Hi, welcome to today's session. In this class, we are going to discuss about the topic importance of C programming. Right? So, if you want to learn C programming, first we have some prior knowledge about the programming. In this class, we are going to cover the topics why we need programming and types of the programming some facts about the C, history of the C, and lastly, benefits of the C. We know computer, it is what the electronic device, it does not understand our native languages, that is like English, Hindi, Kannada, etc. It will understand only one language, that is what the binary language. It is all about what the zeros and one, where one represents what signal on and zero represents what signal off. Every computer has a set of the hardware devices connected to it and all these hardware devices have what preset of the instruction. So whatever the hardware devices connected to the computer and all these hardware devices have what preset of the instructions what they can understand. Every hardware understand only the set of the instruction that are in what um, in the binary or what in terms of what machine instructions so every hardware it understands the set of the instruction these instructions are all what in terms of binary language only the binary format it can understand that the, what particular hardware if i want computer to do some specific tasks first what i can do i would actually learn the computer language and then instruct the computer to do some specific task that is not like our normal routine if i want to communicate with the people knowing only hindi so first what i need what i need to do first i need to learn hindi first then i can communicate and interact with them here also we have the what c language that is little closer to the english the instructions are in the english whatever the instructions we're going to write in the c language that is normally in it is in what english these instructions are compiled together these instructions are what compiled together using what compiler that is responsible for converting the instructions into machine language so that this can be understandable by the machine to do some specific task compiler it works like what a translator here it is converting the source code whatever the program we are written in the c so it going to convert that one into machine code instruction so this would be understandable by the hardware to do some specific task suppose if you are giving instructions properly to the computer then computer it will work properly suppose if you are giving the instructions wrongly so computer it uh, will uh, it will work according to that in lab exams you are saying right so normally if you are not getting output that is what the uh, mistake of computer normally computer it won't do any mistakes that is the mistake of you you are not giving the instructions properly okay normally in our country there are so many languages are there right in computer industry also there are a lot of the programming languages c c plus plus java etc right so here also first we are going to write the program in any of the languages either it may be c c plus plus java then what compiler we will do compiler is going to convert that source code into machine code so that it can be understandable by the hardware to do some specific task whenever developer they are going to write a code they come up with the what applications application is nothing but what it is usually in the form of what dot exe file for example ms word notepad everything which is what executable right that is what applications application is nothing but what it is made up of instruction and data flow through this instruction for example application to perform addition of what two numbers right here we can use the water to operand for example i am going to provide the input as two and three right instruction you assume c is what if assigned by a plus b so two plus three 
result is what phi and phi that result is going to be saved in the variable c right so data it may be different but instructions it won't change then next uh, we going to learn what is types of the programming right machine first we need to know about what the uh, hardware right so machine is nothing but what it is uh, just a what a set of the hardware devices computer what we call the computer machine it is just a set of the hardware devices who is giving instructions to these devices to perform some specific task that is the responsibility of what a operating system a very hardware supported with what operating system that is maybe desktop laptop mobile etc which are all the operating systems are available that is windows unix linux different operating systems are available right operating system what we can say it is collection of the programs it works like what intangible layer built over the hardware okay operating system is nothing but what it is an intangible layer built over the hardware providing the instructions to the hardware on behalf of the user to perform some specific task to perform some specific task what does this will do it works like what intangible layer built over the hardware so it's going to provide the instructions to the hardware on behalf of what whom that is the user to perform some specific task my application it cannot run without the operating system okay os itself it is what collection of the many many application os have many programs within it this program generally what we can call system programs and programming in this kind of the application that is nothing but what system programming okay i will repeat once again operating system it is having the many applications operating system it is having many programs within it and this program generally what we can call system program and programming those kind of the application is called as what a system programming system programming why we need this system programming this is used for what a developing the low level programs which can be used by the operating system to directly instruct the hardware for example what a device driver program right printer connected to a machine right so i want the printer to work right so i need what device driver of the printer right system programmer generally they going to write the code in the what assembly level language that's why it is what it is the fastest so directly it can understandable by the what machine right there's no translator is required language c it works like what a middle level language it can be used to write the device driver program okay so normally see it how it works it is the middle level language it can be used to write the device driver program this is considered as what low level instructions so uh, normally we can use that one see is what it is the middle level language right and also not only the <clears throat> for writing the low level programs okay for developing the any applications so we can use the c it normally sit in between the what a user and the operating system for example notepad and the operating system now what we can say in general user uses the applications application in turn provide the instruction to the operating system operating system in turn translate the instructions to the what a device driver program and then transfer to the hardware right almost what then uh, what c language c is what one of the most popular computer programming language because though it is what a structured programming language why it is what structured programming language so you know a structured programming language in the sense dividing the uh, program into smaller number of sub function means what suppose if we, the program is uh, size is large so we can divide the program into smaller number of the sub problem hoping that solution of the sub problem it may be easier to find so lastly we can compute all the solution of the sub problem then we get the solution to the virtual problem problem right so c is what structured programming language and c is what more powerful language why c is more powerful normally according to my research statistics what i can say if you want to be a good program developer first you need to learn what a c okay 
so if you learn c then you will become a good programmer this is what um, i did according to my research, uh, according to research statistics then uh, flexible why c is what a flexible okay because it is what fastest so since the tax like what middle level language is what fastest compared to all other programming languages uh, c is portable in all machines uh, you can run this what c okay in almost all the machine you can uh, run the program right then um, see that's why what we can say it is what portable and c is the what general purpose high level language that was originally developed by whom dennis ritchie for the what unix operating system next we can learn about what uh, we can see that the history of the c language around 1960s uh, a group of people that is called international group they developed the language algon in us it was not popular but in europe it was more popular for developing the structured programming languages okay first uh, uh, language that is what algon second around 1967 that is a uh, basic combined programming language was developed by the what uh, martin richard he developed the language to write the water system software around 1970s b ken thompson okay he developed the language that is what b uh, this is what um, uh, the unix uh, earlier version uh, unix earlier version was developed uh, around 1970s around 1972 okay now traditional c was developed by what dennis ritchie at the 80s the labs in the usa and he's also Dennis Ritchie is co-founder of the Unix operating system. He developed the language that is what C. So around 1972, he developed the C. Around 1978, K, that is what Kernighan and Ritchie, they written the book that is and that the book is published in the year what 1978. That is what K and R C, right? Book name is what K C. Kernighan and Richard. Uh, Richie both developed it at that time. Uh, both published, both together published around in the year 1970. Around 1989, okay, they uh, that uh, ANSI committee they given standard for the C, right? And that's why it is named as ANSI C. And 1990, both ANSI and, and ISO uh, they given standard for the C, okay. That is what that's why it is called ANSI or ISO C. And lastly, around 1999, C9 uh, standardization committee, they given standard that is what C99. This is all about what is of the C language. Importance of C programming language. C is a robust language. Why? Because rich set of the built-in function and operators can be used to write any complex program okay because rich set of the built-in function and the operators can be used to write in complex program that's why c is what robust and c is what portable because it allows software developers to develop the software without worrying about the hardware platforms so without worrying about hardware platforms or the developer they're going to develop the software and then they can implement then C language is what efficient and fast uh, by, because since it's what uh, C is middle level language. Then C is what structured approach, right? Dividing the problem into what uh, functions, right? That's why uh, that is what structured approach. And almost all the popular languages are built on top of the C languages. Either it may be Python, Ruby, Java, JavaScript, almost all the popular languages are built on c language and it then next it's the coding language of the choice for kernel development it's the coding language of the choice for kernel development kernel it is what it is the central part of an operating system kernel it was central part of an operating system it manages the task of the computer and the add way most notably that is a memory and the cpu time it manages the task of what the computer and the hardware computer and the hardware it manages both the task that's why it is the central part of the operating system it's the 
you know, what uh, coding that's why it's what uh, coding language of the choice for kernel development c it results in the small executable code why c it results in the small executable code means the whatever the program you going to be compiled then that size of the executable code is very 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 less that's why c it results in the small executable code and it is suitable for variety of the hardware starting from 8 bit microcontroller with minimal configuration to advance that's why it is suitable for variety of the hardware then c having more control over the memory since you are using the pointers concept it can allocate the memory statically dynamically so that's why uh, so c is having more control over the memory now uh, we can see c is what robust because of the rich set of the what instructions are available uh, rich set of the built-in of functions and the operations are available in the c that's why c is robust and c is portable it allows software developer to develop the software without uh, worrying about any hardware platform c language is efficient and fast since c is treated as middle level language say it's a well suited for structured programming approach already you know dividing the problem into smaller functions almost all the popular languages are built on top of the c language that is python ruby java javascript it's the coding language of the choice for the kernel development kernel is what uh, you know central part of an operating system it manages the task of both the software and the hardware then uh, see it results in the small executable code uh, why it is a small executable code why we can say small executable because size of the, the executable code is very very less uh, suitable for variety of the hardware uh, starting from 8-bit microcontroller with minimal configuration to advance more control over the memory that is uh, uh, regarding what pointer concept both uh, it can allocate uh, statically and uh, dynamically so next one is what why c program is what awesome so uh, curiosity rover it was launched uh, in on uh, november 26th uh, 2011 at what cape canaveral and it is landed on what a mass on august 6th 2012 curiosity is nothing but what it is a car sized um, rover okay car sized rover it is uh, designed to explore what uh, dry surface on the mass around 500000 lines of the c code uh, it was uh, around 500000 uh, lines of the code it was written in which language c okay because uh, to want to communicate with the hardware devices so we going to use directly use what uh, c language here so that's why c programming is what uh, awesome okay then next up this is the what i collected that is uh, tube.com uh, tube index uh, this is the statistics uh, of what uh, recent that is what april 2020 according to april 2020 still see it is in what uh, it is in the second position here okay first java and the c around what it's been uh, till around 30 years uh, still uh, it is not going anywhere it's been around for more than more more than 30 years uh, still it's not going anywhere see uh, what um, uh, still it is in what second position most of the job opportunities will be available in the c mm, if you that's why what i said see what powerful uh, what i said earlier if you know c properly you can learn any languages easily if you want to be a good program developer okay um, so you need to learn what uh, c most of the operating system are here, Buddha, compiler anything it's going to be developed by using what c only right and uh, for example oracle oracle it's written in c languages core libraries of the hand written in c mysql written in c major part of the web browser written in c unix operating system is also developed in c so most of the things it is developed by using what c that's why c is what the more popular okay so uh, this is how uh, the importance of uh, c programming okay thank you